In the previous video, we discussed questions number, sorry, example problems 7.3 and 7.5. In this one, we are discussing question number 7.4. So it's on page number 203 in your textbook. So we've been given the value of Kc. Uh, Kc equals to 4.24. And the temperature has also been given, that is 800 Kelvin. So the value of Kc equals to 4.24 at 800 Kelvin for the following reaction. CO, carbon monoxide plus water, gives rise to carbon dioxide plus hydrogen. Now we need to calculate the equilibrium concentrations of carbon dioxide, hydrogen, carbon monoxide and water at 800 Kelvin if only carbon monoxide and water are present initially at the concentration of 0 0.10 molar each. So we've been given initially, like, Okay, so initially the concentration of water and carbon monoxide was 0 0.10 molar. Okay, now as we move forward with the chemical reaction, there will obviously be a change in concentration. When I was in grade 11, I probably would have just assumed that 0 0.10 is the concentration of both of them in equilibrium, which is not the case. So <laughs> carbon monoxide... Uh, which is a gas, reacts with water in the gaseous state in equilibrium, carbon dioxide, gas, H2. Now, initially, our concentrations are going to be 0 0.10 molar and 0 0.10 molar. And these are going to be zero because this is the initial, at the initial part of the reaction where immediately after you add carbon monoxide and water to the vessel, the concentration was 0.10 and 0.10 respectively. So at that point in time, the concentration of products are going to be zero and zero. But as the reaction progresses and it reaches equilibrium, we are assuming that the concentration of carbon dioxide and hydrogen at equilibrium is x okay so x mole per liter is formed so x molar is formed so x molar of carbon dioxide is formed and x molar hydrogen is formed so the num the amount of carbon monoxide and water the it's going to decrease by x moles so that is that'll be 0 0.10 minus x mole molar and 0 0.10 minus x molar that is going to be the change in concentration basically uh initially we have the concentration of 0 0.10 molar respectively for carbon monoxide and water and as the equilibrium is reached the concentration becomes x molar we are assuming it's x molar for carbon dioxide and hydrogen uh, and so there will be a decrease in the concentration of carbon monoxide and water by x so we know the concentrations with respect to x and we get the equation kc equals to concentration of the products that is x square divided by 1 point sorry 0 0.1 into minus x whole squared okay so x squared divided by 0 0.1 minus x whole square equals to 4.24 because that's what we've had the initial thing itself so this question obviously involves a lot of quadratic equations so uh, just letting you know. So x squared equals to 4.24 into 0 0.1 minus x whole square. Right. So then when uh, we have to simplify this particular equation, um, a minus b whole square equals to a square minus, no, a square minus 2ab plus b squared if i'm not wrong yes right so uh a minus b whole square equals to a square plus b square minus 2 a b so 0 0.1 minus x the whole square can be written as 4.24 into 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.1 into 0 0.1 becomes 0 0.01 plus x square minus 2 
sorry, 0 0.2 into 0 0.1, that is 0 0.2x. Okay. Right. Now, what we'll do is we will, uh, yeah, so this is x squared. Now, we'll multiply this 4.24 with all of this. So, you get x squared equals to 0 0.0424 plus 4.24x squared minus 0.848x. Okay, now we are rearranging this equation for us to get to that quadratic stage where you have uh, all of this equals to zero. So we pushing this one over here and we will rearrange it so that you get x squared minus x plus or minus the constant. So when we shift this to here, we will get 3.24 x square minus 0 0.848 x plus 0 0.424 equals to 0. Now, if you remember, when you have a quadratic equation, a x square plus bx plus c equals to 0, the value of x equals to minus b plus or minus root over b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. Right. Uh, so here you have a equals to 3.24, b is 0 0.848, uh, and C is 0 0.424 and we will be taking the negative sign along with the value of B. So X will be equal to minus into minus equals to plus. So 0 0.848 plus or minus root over 0 0.848 square. And because you have square, uh, it's basically uh, minus into minus again minus to the power 2 is going to be plus minus 4 into uh, 0 0.424 into 3.24 divided by 2 into 3.24. So we're just simplifying this. I'm pretty sure you've learned about quadratic equations and uh, simplifying those equations. Uh, so when we simplify this, we get 0 0.8 848 plus or minus 0 0.4118 whole divided by 0 point, sorry 6.48 so basically you have two possibilities either it is plus or it is minus so we'll consider the first one so x equal to 0 0.848 plus 0 0.4118 divided by 6.48 and x equals to 0 0.848 minus 0 0.4118 divided by 6.48. So when we simplify this, the minus 1 gives us 0 0.067, whereas the plus 1 gives 0 0.194. So we need to eliminate one of these. Right. Now, in this case, in the beginning, we know that the initial concentration is 0 0.10 mole. Now, the value of x cannot be greater than 0 0.10. It cannot be more than that because that will mean that then the concentration of our reactants will give, become negative and we don't want that. So, that is why 0 0.94 is not considered because it is higher than the concentration of the reactants, the initial concentration of the reactants. So the value of x is equal to 0 0.067. Now, uh, so the equilibrium constant, sorry, concentrations for H2 will be equal to the concentration of CO2, which is equal to 0 0.067 molar and the concentration of carbon monoxide equals to concentration of water which is equal to one sorry 0 0.0 0 
वन ज़ीरो माइनस ज़ीरो पॉइंट ज़ीरो सिक्स सेवन विच इज़ इक्वल टू ज़ीरो पॉइंट ज़ीरो थ्री थ्री मोलर दैट्स इट सो बेसिकली वीव बिन गिवन द वैल्यू ऑफ के सी वीव बिन गिवन द इनिशियल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ कार्बन मोनॉक्साइड एंड वाटर द टेम्परेचर इज एट हंड्रेड कैलवन सो initially we know that the concentration is 0.10 moles 0.10 moles 0 and 0 and at equilibrium if the concentration of carbon dioxide and hydrogen is x moles each of them is x moles then there would be deduction of concentration of carbon monoxide and water by x so that's why we got these concentrations we substituted them in kc the rest is all math where we got a quadratic equation and then we had to simplify a quadratic equation to give us the two values of x the reason we couldn't use this value is because if we had taken uh, so if for in the end if you taken this one as the value 0.194 minus 0. Point, sorry trip in the other way around so 0.10 minus 0. Point, 194 which would have given us the value in negative and the concentration of carbon monoxide and water at equilibrium cannot be negative so we had to eliminate this value and then we were left with 0.067 which gave us the answer to this question uh, granted it might seem a little complicated because it involves a lot of math so just you just need to be extra careful about your calculations um and that's it so in the next video we will be discussing the uh, equilibrium in a heterogeneous uh, equation or <laughs> equilibrium for a heterogeneous equilibria i guess no uh, yeah do check it out